Sarah Bailey. And I'm Dakota Morgan. As you can see, we're not on our usual set. We're over here at Channel 12 News. We're giving you the behind the scenes look at what goes on at Channel 7. We hope you enjoy. Since the story had been completed, they determined it December 8th that you, that slides up there now. Teleprompter. Yeah. yeah. I then, read teleprompters, sir. You like, you like Ron Burgundy. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't read know. teleprompters. Sarah, test one. Come on. Kind of thread. Check, check. Beep, beep. Hello. No. Is it working? Wait, we'll go back to camera two after we do camera one. With this, okay? Okay, we ready to go out there? One more time. You good? All right. Okay, here we go. Show starts in three, two, one. Mic's up. Go. The movements are coming for USB 394 as the bond issue passes in a landslide. And the time is being revamped. We talk to students and teachers about their class. We have all this and much more on Channel 7 News. Our first show was a complete disaster, uh, and I would say our last show was our best. And I think what's in between that is significant growth, not just from a journalism perspective and in a production standpoint, but also from a maturity standpoint. Uh, I think kids have grown up, they know to take responsibility for their stories, to take responsibility for their script, and uh, no longer are we novices at this, but I think we've become solid journalism uh, professionals, or for what a high school professional is, and I think you can see that in our shows. I was supposed to say 10, so I was really confused. Another cold front is expected to push through tomorrow, which will drop temperatures into the 30s by Thursday. Stay up to date with any school and community news on Twitter at Rocket Productions or Rocket Athletics. I'm Sarah Bailey. I am a junior here at Rose Hill High School, and I am one of the news anchors. A past graduate now, uh, Aaron Thorburn, had told me about <clears throat> Rocket Productions and I kind of was interested in it, wanted to try it out. I started with cameras and then running teleprompter and stuff and then they put me on air and liked what they saw. Alright, so what's the hardest part about what you do like that people wouldn't think is something? Absolutely reading the teleprompter. <laughs> like, I can't read at all. My name is Dakota Morgan and I read a teleprompter. Uh, the hardest part of my job is getting stubborn people on camera because a lot of people have a real big stigma about being on camera. They don't like being interviewed so they just really dislike, uh, dislike it when I record them or ask them questions. What are you, what are you doing right now? Uh, right now, I'm trying to Google Rose Hill Veterinary Clinic for my story. It's Rose Hill Veterinary Clinic. Woo, like, it is Rose Hill. Are you going to, like, call them? I'm, I'm, I am going to call them, and I'm going to put the charm on them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give them the message. I'm gonna, Hi, my name is Dakota Morgan, and I'm with Channel 7 News. You know, that, so old, let's, that old so let's So let's start over. I got the mayor. So let's start over. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Dakota Morgan. I'm with a school news program, Channel 7 News, and I was just wondering if uh, I could stop by sometime this week and ask you guys a few questions about your veterinary office. That's probably the most difficult part because I fear rejection, and that's part of my job. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like a guy who's afraid of sharks being a marine biologist. He is a very flamboyant person and he is ready to be on air, and he's always looking good in a suit. It's, <laughs> it's okay. 
Tell me your names and what you do here at uh, Channel 7 News. Oh, okay. This is AJ Taylor. He is one of the reporters I was gonna say of that. our group. This is Cody Pets. <laughs> Wait, that's your, is that your name? Oh. Tell, the, tell the camera your name and... Scotland. Pretz? Pitts. <laughs> so okay. I'm Aislinn and I sub for Micah sometimes. I'm a director, co-director. Awesome. You guys also do... Reporting and oh yeah, we also report yeah. Videographing. Yeah, I we record and stuff, and then we ask questions to people that we don't know. Uh, me, me. <laughs> Sorry, Cody. <laughs> um, I'm Skylar Brown. I'm the sportscaster here at Channel Seven. Um, obviously I cover cover the sports. Um, I'm Chatter Thompson. I push buttons and plug stuff in. That's about it. My name is Charlie Conroy, and I am the weather person, and I also make the commercials and sport commercials for Channel 7 News. Weather is extremely complicated sometimes, especially when you have to improvise and make corrections in the weather forecast when we don't have the radar and um, equipment that we need to actually predict the weather. At the beginning of the year, we were all horrible. Yeah. The beginning was very rough, and I didn't know how to do a lot of stuff. Heck, the first show we ever did didn't even go on. That was, uh... We were so hard. We did pretty good for our first show, and then we found out that it didn't even happen. Everyone was kind of upset about that. We were all upset. I think Mr. Brownie was the most upset about that. <laughs> Show days, uh, definitely the hardest part is keeping your concentration and keeping your nerve about you. Not really breaking down, but being able to keep a serious but playful approach to things, if that makes sense. Um, it's definitely good to have a little bit of fun when you're trying to be serious. So it makes things more enjoyable and it uh, definitely helps the atmosphere around what you're trying to do. It's fun because you're like kind of working under pressure like you want it to be good and so it's like a super like What's the word? Super fun project. No. Sort of. <laughs> Exhilarating. <laughs> Exciting. I listen to Ace. No. <laughs> I don't know. You have lots of adrenaline in you and you want to do good. Yeah. Can you shut the door? <laughs> All right, um, all of you men go away. Yeah. Hey, I was quiet. All Literally. right, man, you but you were attracting other men. Hi, I'm Sophie Johnson. I run the teleprompter. See, it's very easy to run the teleprompter. See, all you have to do is you have to be able to read and you have to be able to tell, t keep time and you have to be able to listen. See, because if Aislinn over here, if I just stopped and she, she, if she finished this and I didn't keep going, she would be lost. She wouldn't know where to go. She wouldn't know what to say. And that would just ruin the show. And I wouldn't want to do that. So I have to keep on time with her and then the show will go perfect. I love dogs. Hello. <laughs> All right, that sounds familiar. <laughs> oh man. All right, tell me your name and what you do here at Channel uh, Seven. I'm, I'm Sean. I do the video editing. I do some packages as well. Sometimes I do the behind the scenes stuff when Lathe isn't doing it. I upload stuff to YouTube, that's probably my biggest contribution is the YouTube. Um, that's about it. Um, I think my favorite part is the when we go live. It's just 
so interesting to see. Yeah. When I first came here, there's four only four people here, including me, and there was like over ten. And it it was like stuff from like we use like technology from like the nineties, so it was like it wasn't fun at all. It, this is probably the only thing that survived. And it's a TV. <laughs> so Michael, what are you doing right now? Um, I'm about to record one of our updates, and what we do here is there's this we use QuickTime Player, and first we have to plug this into this, and then right after this, this should go black, so should this, and whenever the show's about to start, I click record, and it should record the updates. Nice. Yep. My name is Leif Cobb. Shut Guys, it's up. not filmed there. Thanks. Guys, you see I'm Leith Cobb. I run the board and do a lot of the tech techie stuff. All right, and how did you get involved in Channel 7 News? I started cleaning Mr. Browning's room, and then I started messing around with stuff, and then I started reinventing the whole thing. Uh, Leith is... It's been knowing him. And I, I am going to be... Sub uh, very different when he's gone uh, because I think he's in his junior year right now so he drives me places uh, we talk I talk about his driving he does nothing about it and that's uh, that's our relationship he's wearing a really really pink outfit right now which is just fun he's blonde we've come a long way in just a matter of a semester I mean, last year was crazy, like, it's just awful, just straight awful, just stagnant, and then we doing a lot of new things this year, and next semester we're going to look better, so. Nice. Um, talk about uh, Mr. Browning. Mr. Browning is a fantastic man. He, uh, inspires us to do whatever we want in terms of what we want to do in the future. Mr. Browning, he is a character, <laughs> to say the least. Mr. Browning is quite funny for a teacher. He's responsible. I feel like he is a great teacher. I feel like he treats us like we're older and like he gives us lots of responsibilities and I like that, that he doesn't think he's like better than us just because he's like a teacher or whatever. And we all have our own like things to do and we get, we need to get them done and he has requirements for us. And uh, Mr. Browning is a really cool teacher who is Serious most of the times, but he's pretty fun to talk to and understanding. He's not different to other teachers, like, he treats us differently. I don't really know how to explain it. Like, he gives us responsibilities and stuff, you know? He's pretty, <laughs> he's pretty interesting person. But yeah, he's one of the he's, funnest teachers here. He's one of the coolest teachers here. He would, he has some of the coolest classes. Mr. Browning is an excellent person. He's a very funny person, and it's been a pleasure working with him. He has uh, quite a bit of knowledge on the subject of journalism, and I really like the vision he has for Channel 7 uh, that he, of course, shares with Laith Cobb and Micah Streeter. And I think it's going to go far, and he's got, uh, I think he has the ambition to make this a really good program.
My name is Mr. Browning. I would call myself the producer of Channel 7 News uh, and general overseer of the entire operation. I would say Channel 7 News uh, was my vision, um, but then the students kind of embraced my vision and they, and they, uh, they kind of took it to the next level. So I had the general outline for what I wanted Channel 7 News to be, uh, and then uh, the students took that and made it much more and made it what it is right now. As crazy as it sounds and as stressful as it is for all those involved, show day is the best day. Uh, to be able to see all the work that the, that the kids have done uh, and to put these pieces of the puzzle together to make it a perfect puzzle is, is really cool. Uh, it's challenging at times and as probably some of the staff members have already told you, uh, it's, it's stressful at times but it is something that uh, it gets the adrenaline going and it, it's, uh, there's nothing like it on uh, show day it is. For me, the hardest part is knowing that I have a degree in journalism, I have experience in journalism, and the students just don't know what I know. And that's not a conceited way of saying things, is they have not been trained in this before. So having to teach them that and knowing they're going to fail at it initially is hard. But I also have to look at the whole process and go, that's just, you know, that, that's part of the growing pains of of putting together a show from the ground up. That's what we've done. Uh, this thing was bare bones in August and now we've, we're continuing to grow. Uh, but those growing pains is what makes it difficult when you, when you see how a student doesn't transition well or there's a production thing that goes wrong and you know what they did wrong and you know you could have done it right. Uh, it's hard to kind of put the ego away uh, to know that these kids have to learn by themselves to grow. Uh, that's been really challenging. We're all around here, it's okay. I have a closing comment if you would like it. Okay. Okay. Um, I've said this before to anybody who asks or anybody wants to, to hear. Uh, yeah, I had the vision for Channel 7 News, but if it wasn't for these kids, we wouldn't have it the way we have it. Um, I kind of laid the foundation, and then specifically Micah Streeter and Lance Cobb just they, they took it, they made it their own, uh, and that's why it's so good. I have a small part in it. The, the big part comes from our staff who works hard. Um, they work hard every single day up until show day. And I think we're finally starting to see the fruits of that with people talking about us and people acknowledging what we do and saying good job uh, and saying great stories, stuff like that. Um, that's what makes coming to work every day and coming to class at 7.50 every day worthwhile when I know that the hard work's paying off and people are starting to recognize what we're doing. We here at Channel 7 appreciate your viewership. We hope you tune in next semester for bigger and better things coming. We hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We hope to see you in our next show in 2018. I'm Sarah Bailey. And I'm Dakota Morgan. And I'm Skylar Brown. And I'm Charlie Connerly. Thanks for watching.